Hi guys and welcome to RG Handhelds. Thanks for tuning in once again. Uh, today we're going to have a look at a system uh, I've had for about 11 months now approximately. It's called the uh, Pi DMG, uh, made by Experimental. Uh, this device is basically a Game Boy shell, as you can see, uh, with a Raspberry Pi 4 inside. Uh, this particular one is a 4 gigabyte version. Uh, no doubt you guys know all about the Raspberry Pi and what it's capable of. Uh, over the years, it's gained a lot of dev support uh, and the um, emulators have really matured and we have some amazing stuff now these days. But what I want to show you guys mainly uh, in this video is Recently, we had uh, versions of Raspberry uh, RetroPie uh, for this device, but now uh, we've actually got Battle Sierra, uh, which is pretty cool, I think. Uh, so I've gone ahead and flashed the test version that was available. Uh, and I just wanted to show you guys um, what, uh, what it's actually capable of. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with it, to be honest. So as you can see, Battle Sierra, I've gone ahead and loaded some games up. Uh, you have various games, PCFX. Uh, this is one feature that I wanted to show you guys. So you have the uh, experimental fan, the fan uh, control options where you can actually change the fan speed, as you can see, 35, 50, 62, or you can have auto. I uh, normally have it set on auto. And I find it that it actually works pretty well on auto. So I'll just leave it as that. But that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, you can see you have a battery meter here. Uh, you can bring up the menu. Uh, uh, let's just go to the about screen so you guys can actually see uh, a bit more information about the device. Uh, here we go. I believe we missed it somewhere info so system and it's there right on the top i believe there you go so you can see the details of the system there this format is ext4 as you all know which means you're going to have to uh, mount it to linux to add your games unless you have a um, some sort of file system on windows that allows you to do that uh, or you can use other software battery is pretty good uh, it gives you your battery voltage and current along with the temperature which is running at 36 which is a decent uh, temp to have on idle uh, as you know it's a pi boy 4 with the raspberry 5 model b this particular board is a rev 1.2 system is linux and there you have it, the available memory is four gig. Uh, your CPU is at 1500, but you can actually go ahead and overclock that as well. Uh, you know, it does give you some options to do some overclocking if you go into the dev mode. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you guys, Batasira works amazingly well. I've not had any issues with this release uh, and it's only a beta at the moment so uh, they do warn you when you flash it uh, it's just a it's based on the latest uh, battle zero release uh, I believe it's version 3.333 something like that um, but simply amazing you know uh, what they have done I just want to show you guys a quick blast on a game Let's try some Naomi, one of my personal favorites is Zero Gunner. Uh, you can actually use, I believe, the analog as well. Uh, what they've done is mapped the analog stick. So you press the analog down and this button, which will exit out of games, which is pretty cool, I found. Uh, you have the volume just at the bottom, which you can turn up and down. Wait a sec for this to load. As you 
can see I'm controlling it with the analog stick. So it's already mapped and ready. You don't have to mess around and, you know, but it's just amazing that how smooth and control it, the way you can control it all from the analog or the D-pad, either one works out the box, straight out the box with Batasira. No messing around, like with RetroPie, you really have to mess around to get it to work sometimes. Uh, unless someone's done a Pacific build and everything is mapped. But I just wanted to show you guys one of my favorite games playing on this. Easily uh, emulates a game with these. As you can see, it's pretty smooth. I believe it is 60 frames per second. I didn't uh, enable the frames per second counter because I believe you, I don't actually need to. I never get any stutter on this. Just get past this bit if we can. There you go. As you guys can see, nice and smooth. No complaints uh, about it skipping or starting or even the sounds pretty decent. No stuttering. But guys, um, so if you press this down and this button, you could see very easily, you can skip back. Uh, and I believe this is the back button to go back. And this is the actual, we have Sega Saturn as well. We have some games for, uh, I suppose we can quickly show a Sega Saturn game running as well. But I have to say this is, now one of my most favorite devices at the moment basically purely because it emulates a lot of systems being battle zero now um it's just an amazing machine out the box with battle zero because battle zero the latest um versions actually run a lot of stuff with these as you can see we're playing sega saturn old classic we'll just go quickly ahead and uh, have a quick uh, blast on this just skip all these intros so there we go as you can see guys not an issue emulating uh, some Saturn games on this system. Like I say, the Raspberry Pi really for, Raspberry Pi 4 has really matured over the years and it's only getting better and better over the years. As well as Batocera and as well as the firmware that Experimental keep updating. Hats up to you guys keep updating the firmware i believe that the latest is 1.5 uh, which i have flashed onto this at the moment which i'm using there you go guys you can see it's running smooth as you can probably get it on a pi 4 um, but many other games run just as smooth too many to list here guys but the main thing of this video was just to show you guys Battle Syria is running the latest version. Uh, I will put all the credits to the people who bought the release uh, in the description. That's up to them guys as well. Like I say, this is only a beta version, but uh, like I say, I've not had any issues at all with actually running any games. So there you have it guys, let's exit out of that, as you can see, no issues there, go back. Uh, we have a lot more systems here, but as you know, Batasira plays a heck of a lot of systems. Um, 
just running through them very quickly. Uh, you can see uh, all the systems. Uh, you have retro achievements there as well. Uh, that itself is amazing to have. Uh, classic Amiga, Amstrad, Ataris, and your Commodore 64 and other systems. But there you go, guys. I really wanted to show that and get that out of the way because, like I say, I've had this for 11 months, uh, and I find now with Batasira, it's absolutely amazing now. Uh, very impressed. Let me know what you guys think in the video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you like the video. Uh, follow for more updates soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.